<laughs> hey guys, this is the Headbean, and today we are checking out the morning machine. Morning is a coffee company that's all about elevating the home coffee experience. Since 2019, they've created an ecosystem of quality, convenient coffee, first through their marketplace of curated specialty coffee capsules to the creation of their morning machine, which we will be unboxing shortly. We get this hefty looking craft box with minimal branding, and there seems to be the product specifications as well as some shipping information on the back and sides and on top is some branded tape which we are cutting through to reveal a user manual which we are setting aside for now. Inside the box we get another box and hopefully the machine is up next. This one is a little bit more colorful. It's in blue, much like Morning's logo. On one side is a feature list, as well as a link to the Morning Marketplace. Some more specs there. Nothing much on the back on the other side, except some design elements showcasing the silhouette of the machine. Now let's get into the contents of the blue box. The inner flap tells me that my mornings are about to get a whole lot better. Inside, we have these molded pulp trays for protection, always a good thing. This small blue box, which looks to be an accessory kit of some sort. And this drip tray, which sports a whole pattern similar to the design on the side of the box. And finally, our first look at the morning machine in the white color option. So what I thought was an accessory kit is actually a quick start guide. We got some stickers and a box of 10 capsules to get us started. The package folds out, revealing an easy setup guide to our first espressos. They've packed in a lot of cues to get started, but I like how accessible the information is. Let's see how this drip tray fits. There we go. On the back, we have this reservoir or water tank, which we will be rinsing and filling with drinking water before we brew our espressos. And once again, a look at the morning machine. Now, this big blue box isn't part of the machine's package, but is what you'd get if you go shopping on Morning's Marketplace. Inside are capsules from specialty coffee roasters from all around the world, like Volcano Coffee Works from London, England, April Coffee from Copenhagen, Denmark. And these two are from Kelowna Coffee from Bath, also in England. Also featured inside is Morning's new self-branded line, creatively named to describe the flavor style of the capsules within. Our machine came with a manual, but let's stick to the quick start guide for our very first espresso shots. We got our machine in white, which features a sleek matte white body, a silver brewing chamber, and black accents on the capsule bin and the drip tray. For a smart coffee maker, the controls are actually quite simple. This beefy rotary dial cycles through options, which on the main screen are the 10 default brew recipes. The square on the right confirms actions and serves as the brew switch, while the curved arrow on the left navigates backwards or cancels actions. Easy! For our very first shot, we are brewing morning's bread and butter with the morning classic profile. Capsules go in like any regular machine, but we get on-screen cues to put our cup on the drip tray and another one showing the machine heating up to the program brewing temperature. This cool little light for your shots also turns on. 
The Morning Classic profile we selected shows this cue for pre-infusion and gives us about 10 seconds of bloom time. In espresso machine speak, this means that the grounds are initially sprayed with a small amount of water with little pressure and allowed to sit to fully saturate the coffee before the rest of the water is pushed through. One of the other key features of the morning machine is pressure profiling, which means it can vary the pressure at which it pumps water through the coffee during the brewing process. We're seeing a little bit of that in action here. The profile we selected seems to start with a low brew pressure, evidenced by those pulsating drips, then it appears to ramp up a little bit towards the end of the brew. The beverage yield for this profile looks to be around 40 milliliters or one and a half ounces, which is actually how I like my espressos. This shot was quite tasty with good intensity, a bit of a rummy sweetness and a buttery mouthfeel. This will probably taste good in a milk drink. And this has been the Morning Machine Unboxed. There is obviously a lot more to unpack with the Morning Machine, including an app with a ton of features. So watch out for a full-on review coming soon, maybe even a head-to-head -head with a traditional capsule machine. So go ahead and give us a like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more tasty coffee content.